The Institute of Chartered Accountant Ghana, ICAG, for the first time, held a Muslim Thanksgiving service as part of their 61st anniversary and Accountancy Week celebration. Led by Ghana Association of Muslim Accountants, Gama, the National Chief Imam, His Eminence, Dr. Osman Nuh Sharbutu, asked for less continuous blessings on the institution. <laughs> ICA. The president of the institute, Madam Sena Dake, said the decision to start the celebration with Islamic prayers was to acknowledge diversity and inclusivity of the accountancy profession. If Imam, in January 2023, you joined us in celebrating the launch of our 60th anniversary and all the activities we line up to you were very successful. Today, we are here to establish another legacy in our accountancy conference program. From today on, our annual accountancy profession will begin with the Muslim prayers. May our gathering here today be a testament to the beauty of our religious tolerance and the power of peace. Let us together create a country where peace reigns supreme and where all people can live in dignity and harmony. The Institute made a cash donation of 5,000 Ghana cities. The Ghana Association of Muslim Accountants, Gama, also made a donation of... Whilst we are here to worship with you, we come to this place and we are so excited. We use the Kanda Highway and we see the edifice. We hadn't had the opportunity to enter here. Looking at the cleanliness of the environment, the solemnity of the service and everything here, we cannot go uh, empty-handed. So the Institute of Chartered Accountant donates 5,000 Ghana cities to support the activities of the National Mosque. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are the Ghana Association of Muslim Accountants. We are members of the Institute, and the Institute have deemed it necessary that this year they want to celebrate the Accountants Week by beginning with a Thanksgiving service with their Muslim members. That is why they are here. As the President has already mentioned, I wouldn't want to say much more. We are also, as an organization, as an association of Muslim accountants, donating an amount of 2,500 to the mosque for its activity. The president of the institute, in a short conference with members of Gamma, also announced on behalf of the council the approval of a request from Gamma to institute an award scheme to recognize the best female Muslim accounting graduating student to encourage more female Muslims to pursue a profession in accounting. The Gamma president requests that best performance award for the Muslims, female Muslim, that is inclusive, that is diverse. On behalf of council, I say we have approved. Mr. Nu Salisu is the president of Gama. ICAG has a lot of Muslim members, so they have taught it wise that we should include our Muslim members in our spiritual activity, in our socialization activities. So as an annual event that accountants come together to socialize, to celebrate, they feel that their members who are also accountants should be included. So that is why they decided this year to start the Accountants Week with the Muslim Thanksgiving prayer. So this is very significant for us, the Muslims, who are also part of the association. Yes, we are asking ICAG to include the best performing Muslim female award for every graduation. We know that child, female child education, especially in our Muslim community, it's a bit of a problem. We want to encourage that and no less an, uh, a profession than accountancy. So if there's such an award, it will encourage the other female Muslims to also want to push
to get to the, the heights of the profession. So when we started, we were, I think, less than 100 members who came together and said that, look, we have a unique role to play in the development of this country as Muslims and as accountants. So why don't we pull ourselves together and support the institute so that we can achieve that. So once we started and members saw, other people saw that, no, the idea is good, then the membership started growing. So like as I said, in the first year, we are about 100. Four years now, we are about 500. So if four years we're able to grow the number to 500, we hope that in another four years' time, we should be a 1,000. And what this means is that it's not just the numbers. Like I said, there are professionals with diverse backgrounds who can contribute significantly to the national development. So all we need is to bring them together. Talk about the Islamic finance and, and uh, banking and accounting, for example. Islamic finance is, is a growing... Uh, sector of the financial industry. According to statistics, last year it, ha it holds over two trillion dollars of assets. So if we have that in Ghana, if we're able to access that part of the financial sector, we can grow this country. There are resources out there that we can grow this country. So we think that coming together this way will help us take the steps that are necessary to help government, to help the nation assess other sources of funding to support the development of this country. Islamic finance is unique in such a way that the basic principle lies on risk sharing instead of interest bearing. So risk sharing as against interest. I am not an Islamic finance aspect, but this is what I, I can tell you. It makes the burden on the one holding the debt lesser as compared to a risk or interest bearing loan. For example, in Ghana, we see that the loans that we, the interest that we pay on our loans alone is a lot of our GDP. So if you have an alternative that does not put such a burden on you, you, you have the relief to be able to do other developmental activities. When it comes to what we need, the Islamic uh, Finance Research Institute of Ghana have been making a lot of advocates, advocacy for this, but it's about legislation. As it stands now, the Banking Act that we have has made some small window for faith-based financial institutions, but there are no frameworks and regulations to cover or to manage it. So without that, nobody can really do a full... Islamic finance in Ghana. So this is what we are asking the government, we are asking the, the Bank of Ghana to look into it and we see how best we can fast track this to support the country. The Women Commissioner of Ghana, Mrs. Rahma Wasim, had this to say. For the first time in over 60 years, this is the first time we are having the official uh, Muslim Thanksgiving service and we had it here in, in Kanda. And it's been a 60 year journey. So today is Alhamdulillah and we are all grateful, we are all excited uh, about these blessings. It's a powerful tool um, to see representation and inclusion. Today I said that ICAG is breaking all protocols and setting, uh, making new history. We we have a president uh, as, a, a, as a woman, and this is not the first time ICAG is having a female president, but just that this is the time when we are having the first Muslim Thanksgiving and the, the president is a woman. And that is a, a sign for every single Muslim woman out there that you can also do it. And the, the opportunity is out there. You have everything it takes. It just needs you to take a little step. And as an association, we, we, we are not just saying it. We are actually putting action to it. We also um, use this opportunity to launch the awards for uh, best fem Muslim uh, accountant uh, um, who qualifies uh, in the course of the year. We'll give the person an award, a certificate, and some cash uh, to support uh, her education. All this we are doing it to encourage our women to, to come and, and be part of this noble profession. Indeed, for me, I say every Muslim is an accountant. There's a judgment day. We are all going to account for our stewardship. So, accounting, it's only, don't let them scare you. Debit and credit matter, just come and everything will be easy. Just make a, a step. We, we are a, a big institution. There are classes, there are books that you can, and there are, there are lecturers who will nurture you throughout your journey. 
so that you qualify. I mean, don't be scared. We all have these stories of uh, accountancy being difficult. Uh, when you start, you never finish, but we will finish. You will definitely uh, uh, finish. It's just a, a matter of time and you being focused and, and, and being determined. Mr. Alassan Yusuf Chawule, past chairman of Gamma, also had this to say. Now, this is the very first time we are having a Muslim service, and I think it's, it's, it's welcoming. We started the Ghana Association of Muslim Accountants some four years ago. We've always looked for an opportunity like this. And thankfully, 2024 has been the year that we will have this. And we are all grateful, we those who started this journey. Uh, this is a very happy moment for all of us. We feel that our efforts in the past have been recognized finally. My last words to all accountants in the country, we want to encourage all of you to continue to exhibit integrity in the work that you do. The week celebration that is coming up, please get yourself involved as much as possible, network, share ideas, and let's grow together. For my Muslim accountants, this has been the year that we've been looking for. Let us make the most of it. Let's mingle, let's embrace and let's participate in the whole program that the institute has come up with so thank you once again i wish you the very best of the accountancy week how's this tv unique every day